Hey guys, look what happened. So, um, I know the sliding is kind of annoying. Well, let me see if I move to the side, if that helps a little bit. So, it's actually Thanksgiving as I'm filming this. And um, this morning I was very busy getting everything cooked for Thanksgiving dinner, which I say dinner, we usually, my family usually does Thanksgiving lunch and then we eat you know some leftovers for dinner if we're if we're hungry because <laughs> um, we usually stuff ourselves at lunchtime but I like I said I was getting busy this I was really busy this morning getting everything cooked and stuff and I came outside to feed my goats because that's what I do every morning is I come feed them and I let my chickens out and my goat finally had her babies um, if you guys remember I don't know if I've mentioned this uh, if you follow me on Instagram I have definitely talked about this she I'll insert some pictures but she this goat she had got so pregnant she was so big and I was like how many babies is she gonna have so she actually ended up having three she had triplets I'm really happy because most of the time like from my experience triplets with goats are difficult to keep alive there's usually a weakling in the bunch and um, I'm hoping I can uh, get these to live <laughs> but they all seem like really strong right now so I'm so excited about it but mama did really good my other goats are curious there's Billy Billy buddy so yeah I was so excited I came out and seen that I had Thanksgiving triplets and they're th all three are boys so that is just really exciting um, so I've got them blocked off in this section in our barn um, mostly because, well, I don't want the other goats. I've only got three goats total. Well, I guess six now. I doubled my herd in a day. Wow. But, um, I don't want the other goats to, you know, bug her and her babies and stuff. And I don't want them, the babies to venture away from her. And she's snorting at me. <laughs> um, I just don't want them to venture out and like her lose them or something so I'm just closing them off in here I've got her some food and water down here so she should be good to go but um another reason I've got them closed up in here is because I've been having a hawk problem I've got several hawks around where we live and they're they've been um, getting our chickens so um, I can't remember I think I originally had around 14 chickens something like that and a rooster i am currently down to eight hens and two babies um they're not really babies they're almost three months old but they're still smaller they're not like full grown yet so i still call them babies but um so i've got 10 chickens basically is what i'm down to uh because a hawk got several of my hens and it got my rooster now it's kind of it's really frustrating because he'll land out in the trees out here in our field and he'll like spy on our chickens and then like when they least expect it he swoops down and like gets one so that's really frustrating but um so I've been leaving my chickens up in their cage of the day of course they have food and water and stuff but um I hate not letting them get out and free range you know and kick around at the the bugs and things but um I rather them be cooped up, cooped up in there all day than send them out and like the hawk get one because that's what they usually do they get like one a day they'll snatch one and then you let them out the next day and then you'll notice one more is gone sometimes you'll see a big pile of feathers where he's you know got it down and got it and other times they just flat out disappear so it's frustrating but anyways, so it is about 3.30, Thanksgiving Day. My family had a really good Thanksgiving meal. We are all totally stuffed. My husband actually ate too much, and he is inside taking a nap. He said, I've never, like, ate that much before. He was like, I really did not feel good. <laughs> so he's taking a nap, and um, I've just been out here watching these babies because they're so cute. So yeah, it's been a pretty good Thanksgiving. I just thought um, I would make a vlog and let you guys know about my new little additions to the farm. I made so much stuff this morning and I know I made you guys two recipe videos. I made the corn video and the deer meat video. I had actually planned on doing a couple more 
videos, but um, I just didn't get around to it because like I said, I've been kind of busy with my part-time job and I just didn't get around to filming any more food videos, but um, I considered filming a little bit this morning while I was cooking. I got up around five o'clock this morning and started cooking around six and we ate uh, lunch around 11, but I made, I think it was like, let's see, let's go through here. What, what, what all did I make? I made a big pot of mashed potatoes. I made um, green beans, like with bacon and brown sugar in them. And then I made this broccoli cheese and rice. I'm like burping, <laughs> sorry. Broccoli cheese and rice casserole that my grandma would always make. That's the video that I had wanted to make for you guys to show you the recipe for, but I just didn't get around to it. Um, if you guys are still interested, maybe in some recipe videos, let me know because there is still Christmas coming around and you'll need to have stuff to make for Christmas meals if you're doing that. But um, that and I made um, funeral potatoes, if you know what those are. Google it. They are amazing. They're like cheesy hash brown potatoes with cornflakes on top. And I made my grandma's corn. You guys saw that video. What else did I make? I made a peach cobbler. I made a cheesecake. My dad actually made the ham and the turkey and the stuffing and my uncle, I have a pretty small family. So um, my uncle brought some rolls and some gravy and stuff. So it was just a really good day. And we all stuffed ourselves and got tired and we all separated and went back to our homes. <laughs> These little babies are so adorable, I love them. I'm hoping that they, they do all right. Cause like I said, triplets with goats, they're just usually like a weakling in the bunch and I'm hoping that they, you know, they all survive. See their little tails wagging? That's usually a good sign when, and I've been watching, they've all been getting lots of milk so far. I uh, actually have to work tomorrow, so I'm hoping that they're gonna be safe in here and nothing will snatch them up while I'm gone. Anyways, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving if you are in the US and you celebrate Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys like this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I post a brand new video every single Friday. So I'll see you guys next time and I will try to keep you updated on these little guys. Bye!